Hey everybody, it's Stacy. The Holy Spirit prompted me to get on here and do a prophetic teaching on the Jezebel spirit. Although many people would assume that a Jezebel is someone who likes to wear a lot of makeup, someone who likes to wear a weave or, you know, artificial nails, but that's not really the case. That's not all there is to this spirit. But before we can dive in and on what the Jezebel spirit is and how it operates, we must first educate on ourselves on who Jezebel was in the Bible. Jezebel was the wife of King Ahab. King Ahab was basically a pushover because he let his wife Jezebel rule his kingdom. Jezebel worshipped false gods, sent out false prophets, prophets of Baal, and killed God's prophets, God's anointed prophets, after sleeping with them. Basically, Jezebel killed anybody that got in her way. The spirit of Jezebel is basically someone that makes it seem like they love God, they love to go to church, they love to praise and sing worship music. Someone having the form of godliness but denying its power thereof. Now we can get into how the spirit of Jezebel operates. The spirit of Jezebel operates through fear, intimidation, control, manipulation, blackmail, guilt tripping, crocodile tears, or sex. Seduction. This spirit can operate through a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a mother, a father. This spirit attaches itself to anyone. And this is what makes up the Jezebel spirit, all of these things. If you've experienced any of these behaviors from someone, then they probably, probably, most likely have a Jezebel spirit. Number one, fear. Jezebel likes to put fear in its victims. So they will put fear in you by cussing, yelling, raising their voice, making threats. Number two, intimidation. Making threats, getting everyone to be against you, threatening to expose you or reveal your secrets to others. Number three, control. These people love control. They love control. They seek control in every little thing they do. Matter of fact, they thrive on it. And if you look in the scriptures, you can see that Ahab was the king, but Jezebel was running the kingdom. They like to control where you're going to be at, what time you're going to be there, what, why, when, who, where, what time you need to come back, who you can be friends with, who you can't be friends with. And don't you dare refuse them because that's when they use intimidation and fear to get what they want. Click on my profile. I'm going to be doing a part two to this. Yes, but the spirit of Jezebel usually is the spirit of narcissism. They go hand in hand. What the world calls narcissist is what the Bible calls a Jezebel spirit. Okay, back to part two of the prophetic teaching of Jezebel spirit, a.k.a. narcissism. These people will appear very sweet in the beginning, very innocent. So they can get to know you, get to know your secrets, butter you up real good, and then later use those things against you. Why? Because that's how they manipulate you so they can gain control. They'll even use this demonic spirit is very ruthless. It's very cunning. It's actually one of the highest ranking demonic spirits in the spirit realm because of how strategic it operates. It is ruthless. There is no limit to it. Nothing is off limits. Matter of fact, there is no limits to a Jezebel spirit, aka a narcissist. They will use number four, blackmail. If you don't do this, then I won't do that. Or if you do that, then I won't do this. That's blackmail. They will lie, cheat, destroy, betray, but they expect to be treated nothing less than perfect. The demonic spirit of Jezebel is definitely prevalent, very prevalent in our times today. If you look at social media, if you look at, you know, a lot of the mainstream things that are going on, the rappers, the music, how some of the men and women operate today. So the demonic spirit of Jezebel is definitely prevalent in today's society. They'll even blatantly humiliate you in front of other people if they feel they have to. But like I said, this spirit doesn't only attach itself to females. It can also be that overbearing and controlling boyfriend. Or that overbearing mother that pins her child against each other. That treats one kid like a golden child but shuns the other. And as for the ladies, it can also be spotted on women who are very self-centered, very conceited, thinks everything is a competition and that the whole world revolves around them.
These type of characteristics can be spotted in a mother, a father, a male, or a female because the Jezebel spirit really is narcissism, personality disorder. And there is no cure for the Jezebel spirit except to be casted out in the name of Jesus. These people can operate in church as authority because these people love power. They love people in positions of power. Or they can operate at your workplace. Whatever it may be, if you see these characteristics that I listed in part one and part two, then that person definitely has a Jezebel spirit and you need to flee. Or come against it in prayer. So this is my prophetic teaching on the Jezebel spirit that the Holy Spirit ministered to me. And he told me to get up on here and share it with you guys. Please, 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 guys, stay vigilant, stay prayed up, and take it back to Jesus.